Ever since the beginning of Excel, there's been a feature that users have been begging for. But for some reason, Microsoft refuses to give us this feature. That feature, as you probably guessed, is the ability to sort our sheets. Not sorting the data on the sheet, but sorting the sheets themselves, like alphabetically by sheet tab name, in either ascending or descending order. Now you will not find a stronger advocate for Excel and all things Power Query than me. But there are a few places where Microsoft has really dropped the ball, and that is this ability to sort our sheets by name. But today that ends. With just a little bit of VBA code and some instruction on where to put that code, you're finally going to have the feature you've always wanted. Below is the VBA code to allow you to sort your sheets either alphabetically in ascending order or alphabetically in descending order. Now I've placed this code in the video description. I also have it as a download file. Using the download file will be your better option because you'll be able to import this code directly into Excel and you won't have to do any copy pasting. The code on both sides is almost identical. The only difference is one of them works in ascending order and the other one works in descending order. And that's by virtue of this greater than and less than symbol. Other than that, the code is the same. So let's see how we can integrate this code into Excel, add some buttons to our quick access toolbar, and then always have the ability to sort our sheets. The VBA code has to go in a very specific place in Excel called the Personal Macro Workbook. If you're familiar with VBA and have written macros, it's very likely you already have a personal macro workbook. But if you don't, we're going to create one. We'll start by going up to View, and in the upper right, Macros, and then Record Macro. If the Store Macro in field is set to this workbook, we'll want to change this to Personal Macro Workbook. We'll hit OK, and then without doing anything, we'll just go back up to the Macros button and click Stop Recording. That was enough to get the Personal Macro Workbook to be created. Now to see the Personal Macro Workbook, just right click on any sheet tab and go to View Code. This will open up the Visual Basic Editor. On the left side, you'll see all of your open Excel files. In this case, I have the Excel file with my sheets and I have this new Personal Macro Workbook. If we hit the plus sign next to the Personal Macro Workbook, we see a folder called Modules. We'll hit the plus sign and open that. And we have a module sheet called Module 1. That was where the macro we just recorded was stored. And if you double click where it says Module 1, you can see there was a macro called Macro 1 that has no code in it because we didn't do anything. I'm going to delete that module sheet. We'll right click, remove module 1, and then no, I don't want to back it up. Now back in the Personal Macro Workbook entry, we're going to right click and choose Import File. We'll browse out to wherever you've downloaded the sortsheets.bas file and point to it, hit Open, and now we've got that Modules folder again with a new module sheet called Sort Sheets. And if we double click it, here is all the code for the ascending sort, and here is all the code for the descending sort. None of this code needs to be modified in any way. It's fully baked. We're done with the Visual Basic Editor, so we can go ahead and close it. Now back in Excel, there are a lot of ways to launch VBA code. You can do it through keyboard shortcuts. You can do it by going up to View, Macros, View Macros, and run it through the Macro dialog box. You can build custom ribbons. You can customize your quick access toolbar. The way that I'm going to do it will be to keep it in the most simple form, which is just to add some buttons to our quick access toolbar. If you're not familiar with adding, removing, or customizing the quick access toolbar, I've created the ultimate guide for customizing the QAT. Link is in the description and up there in the corner link. So we'll go to the small arrow next to the QAT, choose more commands. The first thing I'm going to do is just to click where it says separator in this middle panel and click add. This will put a nice little line between my existing commands and the commands I'm about to add. Now up in the top center drop down where it says popular commands, I'm going to change that to macros. And here I have the sort sheets ascending and the sort sheets descending macros. I'm going to double click the ascending and double click the descending. So now I've added those to the right panel. Now the icons for these are always the same, so it would be difficult to know which one does which. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click the ascending macro, come down here to modify, and I'm going to give it a different icon. Now unfortunately these are the only icons you can choose from and if there isn't something in here that really describes what you're going for you're just going to have to use something that makes a little bit of sense anyways. I'm going to go ahead and use this double green right arrow. In the display name whatever you type here will be displayed as a pop-up when you hover your mouse over the icon. So I'm going to go ahead and put click here to sort the sheet tabs in ascending order. I'll hit OK and I'll do the same thing for the descending macro. I'll go to Modify. 
I'll click the double green left arrow. You can, of course, choose any icon you want, and I'll customize the text. Hit OK. Now I'll hit OK to close out the Excel Options window, and now we see we have these two icons up here in our Quick Access Toolbar. If I hover over this one, click here to sort the sheet tabs in ascending order, and if I hover over this one, click here to sort the sheet tabs in descending order. Now, as you can see, my sheet tabs are in a very random scrambled order, but I'm going to go ahead and click Sort Ascending, and now all my sheet tabs are sorted from Austria to Zimbabwe. If I click Descending, now we're going from Zimbabwe to Austria. So now at any time when you want to sort your sheet tabs, you're just a click away. Now here's probably the most important step out of all of this. Because we've created or modified this personal macro workbook, those changes to that workbook need to be saved. So if you've been working in this file, and maybe this was just a test file, I'm going to go ahead and close Excel, and it asks, do you want to save the changes to this file? I can say yes or no. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to save it. But then it's going to ask me if I want to save the changes I made to the personal macro workbook. And you definitely want to say save to this question. Otherwise, you're going to lose all that code. So I'll hit save. So now I've started a new workbook. I'll go ahead and create a series of tabs. We'll call this one M, A, S, and Z. But now I can choose sort ascending. Everything's in alphabetical order. Descending, alphabetical order, but reverse. Remember, you can download the importable code using the link in the description, or if you already have a personal macro workbook, you can copy the VBA code from the video description or the BAS file and just manually import it. So let me know in the comments if you've been wondering why Microsoft has gone all these decades without giving us a feature that we've been begging for. If enough of you voice your wish and need for this feature, maybe Microsoft will wake up and take notice and give us something that we can actually use. Of all the wonderful things that you've built, Microsoft, sorting sheets seems like a piece of code you could do in five minutes. If I can do it, you can do it. Take up the challenge. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.